Allison from Ali Scraps. I'm a close to my heart maker. I've been with Close to My Heart seven and a half years and it's been such a fantastic, fun adventure over those years. I love to scrapbook and I love to put my family photos into albums and to record our stories. I also love to make cards and also make home decor. And today I'm here to share a home decor project with you for Close to My Heart's National Paper Craft Month for January 2021. I'm going to just share the screen now with you and show you a little bit more about this project. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. This is my online shop and we can scroll down. There's a couple of ways you can find this project under promotions, home sweet home, or scrolling down on this page, down, down, and you come to Home Sweet Home. Here on this page, there are our other projects. We have our January, um, our Happiness Lives Here, featured collection for January, which is absolutely gorgeous. We have Valentine's Day collection, which is again, not just for Valentine's Day, we always have a stamp of the month. This is the January stamp of the month. And I've had so much fun creating cards with this. And I have taught classes on this as well this month already. And I'm going to come back to that one down further. We have a fantastic joining offer at the moment. So goodbye 2020. Hello 2021. So Close to My Heart is giving a fantastic sign up deal to join Close to My Heart as a maker or just as an enthusiast for yourself to get your own discounted craft, crafty goodness, I'll call it. So it's a $20 outlay, outlay and $21 back in close to my heart cash into your account to spend on your next order. Down a little bit further, we have our Bring Back My Pack. This is Blossom, a re-jigged up beautiful colours, um, in this pack and that's a beautiful collection to work with again we had that collection a few years ago and it was incredibly popular so there is a small video here on the home sweet home home decor frame but for today I'm going to take you into here and show you the components of this beautiful frame Okay, so we have the frame itself and you can see some of those embellishments around the edge, a heart. You've got a bit of a Christmas one there. You've got some champagne glasses on that one. Over here, a birthday, a uh, little birthday cake, a cupcake. And there here, down here, we have our different components. So I'm going to start with um, this one here. Whoops, the days, I don't want that. I want just this one here, sorry. So we have the wooden home piece with one circle that you're going to be putting together with the magnets. You could obviously use this as a separate item. That's why they have it here as an option um, to buy separately. You also have this one here which is the already cut pieces to decorate and embellish your interchangeable magnetic circles or discs onto your frame, your home sweet home frame. So you can also see these wooden pieces here, wood grain look pieces. They are to stick on to give your frame a wood grain look. If you turn that over, there is a different look on the other side, which I'm going to show you shortly. Also in this uh, pre-cut kit, you have all these beautiful silver glitter die cuts and also an option of, um, they're actually double-sided. So there's actually four different cardstock weight, uh, 12 by 12 inch pieces of papers, pattern papers for you to choose from for your background. 
So that is fantastic. You have options, girls, options. We like options, us girls, don't we? Okay, so if you like, or oh, firstly, we'll go to this one here. So this pack is the discs themselves. So it's a pack of 14 of these round discs with very strong magnets, wooden and lovely strong magnets. So you do get one of these discs in the, um, the home pack here for $12. And uh, there's no magnet that comes with that. The magnets come in this one over here. But the other thing you have an option to get is the complete bundle. So I'm just going to show you that here. This has the wooden frame with the four side panels. You have the, the cardstock weight pattern paper, double-sided, the wooden home with one disc. You have 14 of the wooden discs with strong magnets. And then you have all of the beautiful die cut pieces to make this. Here's a couple of samples right here of the frame with the wooden overlay pieces, wood grain overlay pieces made out of paper. And then here you are, here's the black overlay pieces with the scrolled edged on them. How gorgeous is that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, go back to here and um, then I'm going to actually go to my, my uh, overhead camera and show you in a bit more detail. So hang tight, we'll be right with you. Okay, here we are back again. This is the wooden base to our frame. And I have my instructions here. So it's all fully instructed, all written instructions. We're going to start putting this together and follow this along on the instruction sheet. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is decide on my base page. I think I've decided on this one. Uh, beautiful um, shiplap, beautiful colored paper. You've got a, the linen on there and you can see a bit closer that texture. It is completely flat. It's in. It's built into the actual paper, of course. Okay, it's very gorgeous. I love it. And then you've got the black dots and then the gray dots. So I'm gonna save this for another project. This is um, quite heavyweight cardstock. I think I've decided on this one. And I went ahead and inked up my wooden pieces. I did try using the um, white daisy pigment ink. So that's an option just by inking up those edges, very easy to do and dries quite quickly. I just put them aside for a couple of minutes. Or I looked at this option. I could have used the ones in the kit, which I have uh, showed you. I found that they were um, a red color and I didn't really want to go that uh, that red. So for my for my idea, I thought this uh, this is what I was going to do. Okay, so that's what I'm going to uh, start doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is put lots of tape runner on here. There are a few basic tools that you need. Obviously your double-sided adhesive, um, they do recommend in the instructions to use the, um, oh, that'd be right on camera, run out of, run out of the pieces right there. Let me see if I've got another one ready to go. Here we go. I've got, usually have two going. Okay, so lots of adhesive. And... Across the middle. Going a bit fast for it, I think. Okay. So I'm going to stick that down with my board running horizontally. And I do suggest that you use liquid glass for um, adhering your. Um, 
Let me get this slid off. I've got the right one. Let me check. Yes. Make sure it's open. I did use that earlier today, so I'm sure it is. So I'm just going to run my adhesive on here. This is very strong adhesive and we are just going to position that along the edge. Does not take very long to dry at all. Bit of nice firm pressure and that will stick for us. For us. So I'll just go along with a little bit on this one. Nice firm pressure. I do have my Versamat underneath, not, not really for any particular reason. Um, I like to keep it there because it keeps me centered on my, um, on, under my camera. I find it's really good to keep me on the spot. X marks the spot. All right, so three down, one more to go. Okay, and that should be enough to hold it there. Liquid glass is one of those wonder products. Uh, great to have in your home. I love doing all sorts of things with it. So I have mended shoes with it. I have glued figurines back together with it. And so, you know, when you break something, you can't bear to part with it. And I have got one of these precision applicators on it, but I haven't, whoops, I'm unscrewing it the wrong way, but I need to get a brand new, I can't even get the lid off. But anyway, um, I just tap it a few times, make sure it's fairly unclogged and put the lid on. But um, we do sell these and they are great when you've got a brand new bottle of liquid glass to put on and start with a brand new bottle. Okay, so we have our frame in place. Okay, now the next thing we're doing is um, attaching this. Okay. Get this out of the bag. And we're going to attach this here like so okay so they do recommend here to use adhesive tape so I'm going to go over this with our adhesive tape empty one that's the empty one I picked up so we'll go to this one might sit the frame under my Versamat just for a little while. <coughs> a little bit of weight on there. But that will be glued down in no time. They don't advise to use liquid glass on this and I think that's because it would show up as lumpy bumpy. So tape runner is the answer in this case. And our tape runner, which is the Tombow refillable that I use. We also have another one that's not a refillable one. And these are really, really strong adhesive. And we attach, are attaching the paper to the wooden home sweet home cutout. So I'm making sure I've got plenty of adhesive in all the little corner bits so that it stays stuck down well and truly.
Alrighty, I think we are pretty good up here. I need some. All right, there we go. I think I've got it on all of those now. So just to line this up. Line it all up before sticking it down. There we go. Nice and stuck. Right, so putting some liquid glass on the back of here. Now we'll just see. That one I moved, so I might have to put some more liquid glass on that, but we'll do that in a little moment. So getting out my liquid glass again, and whoops, sorry, screw the lid off. Putting a nice, amount on there to hold that on there's a little bit of weight in this home sweet home so we do want to make sure it's going to hold but we do don't want it oozing out so there we go okay that has got all of it. So tap, tap, tap. Just make sure there's nothing stuck in there and putting this away. Right. So I'm going to try and get this centered. Just holding it above, okay, and when I'm happy with that, press it down. Now, liquid glass does dry shiny, and I have managed to put it down before I should have, and it might leave a shiny mark, but that's all right. We will run with that. All right, so I have another Versa mat here. I'm going to sit that on top of here and let that. Actually, I didn't really need to use that one there, but I have, so that's fine. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to dry, we are going to, or I'm going to show you these fantastic wooden discs that we are putting on mag with magnets. So um, just clean up my space a little bit with the couple of items I've had out. So I just wanted to bring in some of the ones I have put together earlier. Okay, just to give you a little bit of an idea, we've got this one here. So I would use something like this for, um, uh, bonfire day or you could use use it for happy new year in australia we have um, bonfires in the cooler months um, we have big firecracker nights usually uh, on tv because it's illegal to have our own fireworks unless you live in certain parts of australia um, or have a permit we have something here for love it could be valentine's it could be anniversary we have a birthday we have um, a summertime beachy one there's also um, the watermelon which is fun and summery we have the christmas wreath which is gorgeous then i have gone ahead and made some of my own not to say that the ones in the kit aren't fantastic there are some that um, aren't 
Australian. So I wanted to bring in a little bit of more of an Australian vibe. So I'm going to share that with you now. So I've come up with, I've used the cricket and I've come up with this one for Australia Day. And I came up with the bicycle because we love the outdoors and we love walking and bicycle riding. We also like the beach and I came up with this as another option as well, just to give us another option to change them around. And we love camping, a lot of outdoorsy stuff for us here in Australia. And they're just using our cricket cartridges. That's what I've done here with these. But um, of course you could do stamping. I have done, I've got another one here I'm gonna show you in a moment, which is um, going to incorporate some stamping. But you really can make these your own use some foam tape under them give them some dimension like I've done with this one and um, pop them up and make them really fun so these we are ready to go onto the wooden the wooden discs okay so the magnet will go where the x is on the back as well okay so they stick on to the front like so okay um, so let's do this, put those aside, I've shown you those, and I'm going to bring in the one I've made, which is a cup of whatever you want, to, want it to be, a cup of tea, coffee, um, we have Milo, you might have Milo in uh, other parts of the world, um, we have hot chocolate of course, all sorts of things. So something like this would be really lovely for winter. So I have decided to do something like this. And I am using a stamp from last month, a stamp and thin cut set, which is called Elegant Snowflakes. So it has matching thin cut dies. It's a gorgeous stamp set and die set. It's got some beautiful sentiments. So I've decided to stamp this sentiment. It says warm winter wishes. I'm going to get a little, what I will do, I will turn my Versa mat over because I have it right there. And I've got my foam back. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on my mug and some snowflakes. Now um, I have seasoned this but I'll show you how you season a brand new stamp. And I've had a little practice run there. I've had two practice runs by the look of it. Um, I think I will stamp this in maybe, hmm, I might just do it in the wisteria that I'm going to stamp. This is wisteria cardstock. I'm going to stamp the snowflakes in wisteria. So I'm going to do that. The sentiment is going to be in Wisteria. I'm going to ink up, do a little test patch. That looks pretty good. One more for good luck. That looks good too. All right. So I'm going to center, just inking up. I'm going to center that now onto my cup about there. Onto my hot drink cup. Yep, that looks fantastic. All right, so I'm going to pop that aside for a minute. Bring in my piece. I our cardstock has two colorways, so I've got the wisteria on this side and a lighter version on this side. What I've done is gone ahead and I've put my stamps on to the block. I will do one, one more practice uh, stamping and just ink these up. Give it a nice generous inking because it's there's quite a lot of area to cover. And we will flip this over to a clean side with no stamping. Let that just rest on your paper because it is quite a large area to cover there we go that is pretty good whoops I'll just use that for my base again 
So for real this time, I'm going to ink up. And I noticed there was one patch that didn't have much ink when I did the practice run then. So I'm going to make sure I look through my clear acrylic block. This is our largest block, which we do have stamps that are this big, but it works really well for a cluster of cluster of stamps like, like I've done here. Now, I'm sorry if my head gets in the way, but I just want to make sure I'm getting right over where I want them to go. A little bit of clever planning. And I've got them into place. I want a good impression, so I'm going to let that sit there for a bit. Make sure I get a lovely impression there. I think that will do. There we go. Now, just to just to um, fill in those gaps, I'm going to take the very small, a very small block, but also a very small stamp, and fill in some of those little areas there. So we've got. This little tiny one with a little bit more of the wisteria ink. Going to bring that one in there. There. And I'll may as well bring that one in there. Okay, I've got my little chamois here. Quickly clean that one. Or I'll leave it on the block, it's safe on the block. Can't lose it there, it's stuck on. Okay, and then with this little star, let's see if I can fit that in. Can I fit one in there? And maybe one there. And then let's have a look at the coffee cup. Coffee cup's going to go around there, but I might. I might just put a couple across the bottom. And you know what? I might just bring in this stamp here to fill most of that area. There we go. And then finish off with one of those. Okay. There we are. I oh, might just clean off my stamps with the chamois. Then I can go ahead and put those all back onto my stamp um, carry sheet that come in the kit, in the stamp set. Just give that a quick wipe. They are all clean, ready to go back into their pack. All right, so there we are. Stamping is done. And we're going to put together this lovely one. I'm going to use some thin 3D foam tape. We've got two widths. I'm using the thin one, so it's only a low profile. And I'm going to put a little bit on the back with my cutting with my nonstick scissors, of course, just to give this a little bit of dimension. Dimension is life. Do you like that? Oh, I picked that one up from one of my, yeah, one of my friends that I follow, one of my people I follow, um, who's become a friend, wonderful lady. A little bit on, on the handle, I think, just to make sure that stays, stop it from just collapsing or sagging. I think that'll be enough. Just taking the backs off all of these now. Do you like using double sided adhesive foam tape for your projects? 
No, I do. Right, I'm going to pop that here. I love you having dimension. Just, uh, just that little pop of dimension makes it look oh so much better. I think so anyway. Just, uh, just is a, gives it a little bit more fun. And I think that's gorgeous. So there we go. I'm going to stick that one onto a wood piece. And there we go. So um, I think I used the, I think I used this glue when I stuck the others on. I'm pretty sure. So I do like this glue. This will work nicely. And I certainly could have used that for um, sticking on some of my other bits and pieces. It's quite strong, but liquid glass is the strongest. But this is good for paper. Well, paper on wood. I still think this will be beautiful and hold, hold really well. You get a little bit of time to wriggle it into place. Wiggle room. There we go. Okay, so that's the very messed up Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive. It is a multi-glue. Uh, so it has a temporary adhesive and a permanent adhesive. It has a pen tip and a broad tip. I generally use the, the pen tip end. Okay, so there we go. We've got some of these made. Right, and now I think it's time to have a look if our wooden piece has all stuck together and whether we can put our magnets on. This one still has not stuck, which is because I moved it, didn't I? So um, what I'm going to do is put some more adhesive on because I moved it. So that will definitely stick this time. It's the only one that hasn't stuck. Right, need to hold that in place for a little bit. Okay, so the best way to get your magnets to stick, well, to, to go on the correct way, is the, the way I'm going to show you now. So you need to make sure that they are sticking together right so we've got two here and they are definitely stuck together so what have we got we've got that little fellow there so with some liquid glass put some liquid glass onto here and drop those magnets right over that spot. Now I'm just going to hold down this wooden piece with my arm on the left. Okay. Right. So that is stuck already. Now I'm going to put some liquid glass onto there. Now and I'm going to position this straight in to where it needs to go and give that nice firm pressure. And I think I've got that quite well centered. And of course, once that's fully stuck, you can rotate the, that is stuck already. So we'll give that a minute to stick together. And then we've pretty much got our frame finish. What do you think, peoples? Do you like that? So we've got this beautiful Christmas one. 
we have the sum up bike riding and we can swap these out at different times of the year fun camping one all right so all these others are well and truly stuck and this one's looking a whole lot better there's a little bit of a bow in that one i think so there's the australian one i can't wait to do the australian one i should have maybe done that one on there we have australia day coming up on the 26th of january so there we go um i've used some shimmer paper in this one i'm not sure which one it is now but one of the first two shimmer papers, sorry, not shimmer, holographic paper. So I thought that looks really great for the wattle leaves, which is a bluey green um, holographic paper. Is it Dreamy or Oasis? It's one of those. So people, um, that is about all I have for you tonight. So um, be sure to pick up your um, beautiful home decor kit at my online shop. It is available till the end of January. End of January. Sorry, the end of February. Oh, my goodness. I am so pleased I checked that. So you do have till the end of February, which is wonderful. So if you would like to, if you're local to me and you'd like to get together at our workshop, we have a workshop coming up in February. Um, I think it's the 13th of, off the top of my head, but definitely contact me about that date and you would need to order your kit around now. Give it plenty of time to get back to you. So once again, thanks everyone for popping in to watch my video and um, I look forward to bringing you more videos soon. Okay, thank you and good night for now.